Hey, boys and girls, we are on lesson 11.7. And before we turn in our books to page 319, let's do a little bit of review. Okay, looking at the top of this page right here, we are comparing 2.45 to 6.78. Now, if you remember, we were comparing tenths to think about dimes because they are one tenth, 10 of them together make one whole dollar. And hundredths, that's like a little penny. And the penny, a hundred of them together make one whole dollar. So right now, let's think of this 2.45 and 6.78 as dollars. So let's just think of it as money, dollars and cents. So we have $2.45 versus $6.78. Which would you rather have? Well, I can tell you right away that most of you just thought in your mind $6.78 for sure. Did you look at the coins? Does it really matter um, how many more nickels or dimes you have? No, because you just heard $2 and $6. I know right away that $2 is less than $6. So all I need, all I need to know is that $2 is less than $6. I just needed to look at the ones place. Okay, so moving on, we have 6.86 versus sorry, 3.86 versus 4.32. And if we're going to compare those right away, I know that I'm going to start with the highest place value. And in this case, it's the ones place. And it's just left of the decimal. So we have the decimal here, 3.86 versus 4.32. And what is larger? Do I need to look at the tenths place or the hundreds place? No, not at all. Because I know right away that $3 is less than four dollars so I'm right away I don't even need to look at any other place I'm just going to look at the ones place and know that three is less than four okay moving on now here is where it gets a little different the ones do you see it 1.8 and 1.6 the ones place are the same so just like when we're alphabetizing we start um on the left and then we scoot over we don't need to worry about the next number unless we have a tie well we have a tie do you want one dollar and eight dimes, or do you want one dollar and six dimes? Well, I could tell you that you probably want one dollar and eight dimes because it's more. So eight tenths is greater than six tenths. So when you have the first place value as a tie, you have to move over to the next one and you compare them. So what's larger, eight or six? I know it's the eight. Okay, similar. N the next one, do you see it? The one's place is the same. 2.4 or 2.5? Ooh, let's look. I know that I'm going to now compare 4 tenths or 5 tenths. Do you want 4 dimes or 5 dimes? I know 5 dimes is bigger. So I'm going to keep that one. 2.4 is less than 2.5. Oh, man, Mrs. Cornthal, what's going on now? Well, we're going to have to keep scooting over. Let's look at our first numbers first. The ones place, what do you notice? They match. So, okay, let's scoot over to the tenths place. What do you notice? <gasps> They're both six. They match. Uh-oh. Now what do you do? Well, we'll scoot over to the next place. Do we have a match? No. Here we go. Now we can compare. They were the same until the, the hundredths place. We had to move all the way over to the hundredths place. Again, if you're thinking about this in dollars, dimes, and pennies, you'll know, okay, well, I have $5, and my friend has $5. My, I have six dimes, and my friend has six dimes. Well, I have three pennies, and my friend has four pennies. Who has more? Well, my friend, because they have one more penny. So they have one more, one more hundredth is still worth more. So 5.63 is less than 5.64. Do you see that? This is where some of you get tricked. If I didn't have this highlighted, the number would just look like this, 12.13. And 12, whoops, 0.9. Some of you just look and go, oh, I know that 13 is more than 9, and I think that is larger. No, here is why. When you go fast, you will get this wrong. What do you notice here, boys and girls? Okay, well, we have the tens place is the same, and the ones place is the same on both. But what do you see in the blue and the blue. This is why this is wrong. Even though 13 is bigger than 9, 
What value is this? This is like having t one dime and this is like having nine dimes. What's better? If I fill this in, will it be easier to see? So it's like having $12.13 or $12.90. This is not nine. This is nine tenths. Okay, so that's like having nine dimes and zero pennies. So place value matters. Be really careful. These are the ones that trick us all day long. Notice the place value. So it would be 12 and 13 hundredths is less than 12 and 90 hundredths. Okay, but we would read it like this. 12 and 13 hundredths is less than 12 and nine tenths. Okay, because here it's one dime versus nine dimes. Look in the blue. Okay, now we're ready to move on to our page. Decimals with whole numbers. Read along with me. Adriana's body temperature is 98 degrees Fahrenheit. The temperature inside her pet iguana's terrarium, that's like the big gold glass tank where the iguana lives, the iguana's pet terrarium is 89 degrees Fahrenheit. Which temperature is warmer? Well, since 98 is greater than 89, 98 degrees Fahrenheit is a warmer temperature, right? Um, I bet you already knew that. So which is greater? Let's take that a little bit further. 1.5 or 1.7? Okay, so look at this diagram, boys and girls. They're showing us, even though we just kind of practice that with numbers a little bit, this is why. This is why this is true. Okay, so here's the one. That's one hole. Okay, there's 10 tenths colored in. That's the one hole that matches this. And five, one, two, three, four, five. That's this one right here. Five tenths. See, it's 10 whole sections and five pieces of that. Well, here's the one. Same with the other one. Here's the one. And here's seven pieces. Do you see it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Which is greater? Well, I can see, look. If we're looking at this, this chunk is greater than, sorry, less than this one right here. Now, if I switch less than and greater than, I, goodness, and I misspeak, please forgive me. Um, I know what I mean to say, but sometimes it doesn't come out of my mouth right. Okay, so can you see, if I were to color all these in, you can see that this one is, uh, 1.5 is less than 1.7. And if you were to say that the other way, 1.7 is greater than 1.5. Okay, so it also works with the hundredths. Let's look here. What's greater, 2.34 or 2.3? Well, what's missing? If I were to draw this in place value, what would be the hundredths? Zero hundredths. And let's look at it. See, two, here's the two. One, two. Do you see that? Here's the two. One, two. And then you have three rows of 10, one, two, three, so that's three tens, and then one, two, three, four. Now this one, just three rows of tens, one, two, three, but it doesn't have the one, two, three, four. That's what's missing. Do you see that right there? I'm going to highlight it for you. This doesn't have this part. So this is like having zero tenths. I'm sorry, zero hundredths. Um, they both have three tenths, but this has four hundredths added to it, and this one has zero hundredths added to it. They're not there. Okay, so what is more? 2.34 is greater than 2.3 because it's the same as saying 2.30. So this is the number that you're comparing because everything else is the same. Do you see that? And four is greater than zero. Okay, so let's look at these sets. Circle the greatest in each set. Well, let's look. We're looking at the four. Do I have to go any further? Nope, because I know five is bigger than four. So I already know this is the greater set. So look at the decimal. Even though this number looks smaller on top of number two, look, place value matters. So the one's place, what's bigger, six or three? Six. Do I need to look at the decimals right now? Nope. Ooh, but look at what matches here, boys and girls. 13, 13, 13. Okay. 
Um, there's both, all of these have one 10 and one three for whole. So what do we need to look at next? Well, let's look at the next place value. Oh, so I know that it's gonna be between this one and this one because this one is not it because it's zero. Do you see that? If you're looking, thinking about dimes, this one has zero dimes. So I know that it's less. Now, oh, let's look. One more place value. There's nothing here on this one. So that's not it. This one, it's like having two more pennies. This one is the biggest one. So it's like having $13. And if you think about it, boys and girls, $13 and two pennies, $13 and one dime and two pennies, or $13 and one dime. You would know that it's the most to have $13, one dime, and two pennies out of all of that. Okay, let's look again. Number four. What do we know? What do we see that's the same? Well, the tenths place and the ones place, are, and the tens place and the ones place are the same. These are all like $64. So what, let's look at the dimes next. The tenths place. The tenths place. Let's see it. Okay. We're looking for the largest one. So I can see right now if I'm comparing 9, 8, 9, 8, I can get rid of these two. Feel free to cross them out in your book because I see right now that those have eights. It's like having eight dimes. Do I want eight dimes or nine dimes? Nine dimes. Okay. One last place value to look at. Let's see. Do you see it right here? Okay, if there's nothing there, that's like having what? A zero. So do you want $64 and nine dimes? Or do you want $64 and nine dimes and nine pennies? Right? This has hundredths in it. So it has more. Are you starting to see it? Is it starting to make sense? And you can actually get out dimes and pennies, boys and girls, and you can try this yourself. Um, make these with dollars and pennies and dimes, and you will be able to see it. Um, do it at your dining room table. Try Get out dimes and pennies and put them in piles and see which one is more. Okay, let's compare all of these. Before you, before you do it with me, I want you to stop the video, pause it if you can, and I want you to try and answer these all by yourself and then double check with me. We've done, we've done a little bit of this practice. I want you to stretch your brain and I want you to see which one is greater and which one is less than. Okay, pause. Okay, so if you're hearing my voice right now, uh, you should have a greater than less than sign in each of these little circles because you have tried this on your own. Here we go. Um, I'm going to go kind of through this quickly because you've already thought through it. If you haven't, pause the video now and redo it again. Um, okay, so let's look at number five. I can tell you right now that 16 and 16 are the same. So what number am I looking for? What number am I checking? I'm checking the tenths place. What's more, three or six? Six. Next one. I see that these are the same. So what place am I looking at? The tenths place. What is greater, six or seven? The seven. Okay. I see what's the same. They both say 58. Um, what's greater than nine tenths or eight tenths? Well, it's nine tenths. Okay, do you see the pattern? Just don't start going so fast, though, that you miss it. Okay, I know that they both have one hole. <gasps> Ooh, look at this, boys and girls. They both have eight-tenths. So what place value do we need to look at? We need to look at the hundredths place. So it's like saying, what's more, $1.89 or $1.87? Well, $1.89. Nine is greater than seven. Do you see it? Excellent. Okay, let's compare again. Oh, man, look, there's nothing the same. I can already tell you that we're going to look at the ones place. And they tried to trick us. Maybe you accidentally wrote equals here because you saw this. But if you think about it, what's more, $3.17 or $2.17? Three, right? We All we had to do was look at the whole number here. Number 10. The two is the same both two. Now we need to look at the next place value. What is it? 
and you might have gone very quick. These are the ones, this is the kind of one that mixes people up on a quiz or a test because they go, oh, uh, $2.45 is more dollars than two, more than $2.05. Is this worth five cents? No, this is like 50 cents. It's, this is the tenths place, boys and girls. So we're going to look at, I'm going to highlight it in different colors so you can see it. This is the tenths place. So what is more? $2 plus four dimes and five pennies or $2 and five dimes? Okay, we know that $2.45 is less than $2.50 because the place value matters. I see that four is less than five, okay, when we're comparing the tenths place. So this is one that you would miss if you were going fast. Place value matters. Um, and they do, they will try and trick you um, because they want to see if you're paying attention. So slow down enough to pay attention and make sure you get this right. The next one. Number 11, 21 and 21 are the same. So they're both $21. Um, two tens, one one. Now what place value are we going to look at? Just the tenths. What's more? Five or three? Five. 58. 58, that's the same. What are we looking at? Tenths. Here we go. What's more? Nine or eight? Nine. Okay, let's see if these are the same. These are the same. These are the same. Oh, look, here we go. The tenths place is the same. So we need to move all the way over to the hundredths place to see which is more. What's more? Uh, $76.23 or $76.27? You know, because seven is greater than three. So 76.23 is less than 76.27. Next one. 36. 36. Uh-oh. This is the same, Mrs. Cornthal. What do you do? Well, what do we know? If there's nothing here, that's like having a zero. This is one of those ones, just like number 10, that you would miss if you were going so fast because you go, oh, 36.42 is less than 36.4. But not so because this is worth 10 and this is worth a tenth. So it's like it's having four dimes but this one has two extra pennies. Do you see it? And this has no extra pennies. So there's zero in the hundredths place. So 36.42 is greater than 36.4. Number 15, 87. 87, that's the same. Ooh, yay, we can stop right there. Then we look at the tenths place. And what's larger, six or two? Six. Great, I hope you're seeing this. I hope it's feeling com comfortable, but not so comfortable that you go so fast and you miss the obvious. Okay, 96.06 and 96.6. Is this equal? No, it is not equal. Don't get confused because place value matters. Okay, look at the tenths place. What's larger, zero or six? Six. So what would you rather have, $91 and six dimes or $91 and six pennies? Six dimes, right? So you would want... Six times, because that's in the tenths place. Okay, we're on our last row. I'm gonna get my highlighter back out. These ones are the same. Three hundred. It's like three hundred and forty-five dollars. Uh, do you want one dime or seven dimes? I want seven. Okay, we're comparing one to seven. They're both in the tenths place. All right. Again, eight hundred twenty. Or sorry, eight hundred twelve. It's the same as eight hundred twelve. So, what do, place do we need to look at? Tenths place. Do you see it? What's larger? Four or two? Four. Ooh, look at all these. These ones are the same. $549. $549. Think about it in dollars. Uh, so $549, $549. That's the same. Now, the tenths place, do you see that they are also the same? So what do we need to compare? The hundredths place. What's larger? Three or eight? The eight. Ooh, this is one that you might go super fast on. Again, boys and girls. Um, number 20. I might just quickly put equals, but that's not equals. See, one under two, one under two, but this place value and this place value matter. One is a dime and one is a penny. Do you, what do you, what's worth more? One dime or one penny? One dime. 
So having one in the tenths place is more valuable, but there's nothing here in the tenths place. So what's more, one or zero? One. Okie dokie. I hope you are feeling so good. And this is making so much sense. Okay, see 432, that's the same. So what do we need to compare? Well, I see a different number here than here. Well, let's look at the tenths place. What's more, zero or one? One. Last one in this section. Here we go. 647, that's the same. So what place do we need to look at? The tenths place. Say it out loud. It helps your brain. The tenths place. Thanks, Abigail's got your back. Um, the tenths place. What's more, one or two? Two. Excellent. Okay, this is kind of a fun one. Don't get overwhelmed. It's just saying write the number for each, each space on the gauge. So if you are going here, if, it, if this was reading, maybe this is on a space shuttle, or maybe this is in a car, when you read, you go from this direction, okay? So he, it's like this is the starting line, and here is the finish. So if you're going this way, is this going to be more or less than 1? Okay, so it's less than 1. Do you see that? Um, but it's more than 0. I want to erase some of this. So we know, is there, is it to one yet? Nope. So I know it's zero. There's zero whole because this is the whole, these are the whole numbers. Okay. So it is not quite one yet. Write your decimal. Let's look at the fraction pieces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So these are tenths. They're only going to go to the tenths place. Well, which tenth is that? Let's count again. One, two, three, four four, five, six, seven. So this is zero and seven tenths. Try the next one and see if you can beat me. Look at the whole number. Okay, it's going to be at least two, but is it three yet? Nope, it's not three yet, it's before the three. So this is two point what? See if you can beat me. One, two, three, four, five. This is 2.5. Did you get it? Okay, try the next one without me. Try and race me to the answer. Okay, remember it goes this way. So this is greater than four, so our whole number is four, but what's the fraction past the four? This is four and one, two tenths. Okay, very last one. Don't put six. It's not six, because remember it goes this way. So it's before six, so it's not six. So it's five and how many tenths? One, two, three, four, five, six. Five point six. Five and six tenths. Awesome. We are done for the day. Don't forget, boys and girls, more than math, love God and love your neighbor. I'll talk to you later.